Hello everyone, welcome back to Trendy Education. In this video, I'm going to explain you what is K-Metroid Cluster. I've already posted many videos uh, in data mining as well as software testing. And, and if you want this video in Tamil, you can subscribe to my second channel. And yeah, let's get started into this video. So before getting started, I request you to like this video and then also subscribe to my channel. So yeah, let's get started. So what is K-Metroid Clustering? So K metroid clustering is nothing but uh, from this topic you will get some idea that it is an clustering approach right uh, because we we are having this word called clustering so this is a clustering approach we are using to cluster the data points or the data objects so what is metroid uh, so i hope you know what is this term metroid hope so so what is metroid in the sense it is nothing but a centrally located object the object which is actually located in the center so this is what the metroid so k means so what is this k represents is nothing but the number of clusters when you give k equal to 2 then your number of cluster is equal to 2 so when you give this k equal to 3 then your number of cluster will be 3 so this is nothing but the user defense that is the one who is clustering the one who is going to clustering is going to give this value that is this k value so this is what the k metroid clustering hope you understand this topic but yeah let's get into this video so i already told you that this is an clustering approach so this clustering approach is similar to k means so, which is similar to k-means, but why we are using this k method instead of this k-means is, this k-means uh, is less sensitive to noise or outliers. So, that's why we are using this k method. Because in k-means, we are using this plus, uh, simply we call it as prototype. So, in k method, sorry, in k-means, what we will do is, we will use this prototype to cluster the data points that is the data objects but in k metroid what we are going to do is we are going to select an object that is we are going to select an object from the group of the data objects we are going to select the point from the group of data points so whatever we are going to take we are going to select a data from those data so this is what this method k method in k method we are going to select the value from the cluster but in k means we are going to use this prototype to cluster the data objects so this is what the difference between the k means and the k method so using this this that is uh, this prototype uh, will lead to noise that is less sensitive to noise and outliers then what we are going we have seen is this method is nothing but the centrally located object right centrally located object so this k metroid clustering is proposed in 1987 by cartman and rosev okay. these are the two people who invent who proposed this k metroid clustering algorithm proposed in 1987 by cartman and rosev So, what is this goal of the K metroid clustering? So, let me explain you the goal of the K metroid clustering. So, in K metroid clustering, what we are going to do is we are going to find the K representative object. As I so uh, as I said before, whenever I give the K value is equal to two, then my number of cluster equal to two. So, I am going to find K representative objects. So, what is k representative object in the sense, when I give k equal to 2 means there are k, that is there are two representative objects which are actually called as the metroid, right. So, when I give k equal to 3 means there are three metroids, that means there are three clusters. So, there are three objects that act as the three metroids, right. So, this is what this find k representative object to minimize the sorry average dissimilarity of the objects to the closest selected object 
so as of now uh, we'll skip this goal once i finish uh, explaining you the algorithm i'll explain you this goal because then only you'll understand this goal and yeah let's move into the actual clustering algorithm so while performing this k metroid clustering we will be facing two uh, will be having two phases what are do to those two phases are build phase and then swap phase so we will be having two phases which is called as build phase and then swap phase so in the build phase what we will what we will do is will be selecting a k object as i said before when i give k so let me explain you so what are the inputs we are going to give is we are going to give the data points as one input and we are going to give the k value as another input so they these data points are nothing but the data we are actually going to pass into this algorithm and what is this k value is nothing but the user def defined value so this is the k method so this value is this k value so use the defined value which we are going to give based on the number of clusters so when i give k equal to 2 means there are two clusters as i said before so yeah so in this build phase what i am going to do is i am going to select k objects okay after that what i am going to do is i am going to cluster the cluster the uh, data points based on the k okay based on the metroid that is based on the metroid i am going to cluster this data point so this is what we will do in build path and then we will calculate the sum or uh, distance of the that is the distance between the data point selected and the unselected data point okay let me explain you one thing before that so here i am going to take o as the object okay for this alone uh, here i am going to take the o as the object so whenever i say o oh, that is that means this is object so whenever i say yes uh, that is selected object that is objects i have selected as a metroid so you in the sense unselected object that is the objects that i haven't selected as the i haven't selected as the metroid so i am going to select k that means i am going to select yes sele object okay i am going to select select in the sense selected object i'm going to select a objects so based on the yes i'm going to cluster the data points based on yes so based on the selected object i'm going to cluster the data points right so after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to exchange the that is swap exchange the s with u so i'm going to change this s to u and sum of any any one or two of u to s so this is what i am going to do is do in this step extend s with u and then again repeat the first step repeat the build phase repeat the build phase for, for this unselected that is now you have selected uh, some s right so you are going to repeat this build phase again for this s so this is what we are going to do in k method algorithm so now i'll explain you the algorithm and then i'll explain you how to write an algorithm and then we'll see this goal explanation of this goal so yeah now let's see the uh, i'll explain you the ex explanation that is using the diagram and then we'll see how to write the algorithm for this so for this what i'm doing is i'm, I'm going to draw some data points so yeah so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the value of k equal to 2 so this is my first phase okay this is my build phase and this is my first phase so here what i'm going to do is i'm as i gave two here i'm going to select two data objects so this is my one data object and this is my second data object okay so this is one method and this is second method so i'm going i'm just clustering So this is nearest to this so based on this i'm clustering this as one cluster and this one as another cluster so i have clustered two objects so, so after uh, performing this step you have to find the distance that is sum of square distance 
sum of square distance between all the objects. Let me say the s equal to 1 here. Okay. The s equal to 1 here. That is the sum of square distance between all the objects is 1 here. I have clustered some type of object. Right? So in this phase 2, what I am going to do is I am going to use. So here this is the s. Here this is s and these are all u. And all the objects are o. Okay. So here what I am going to do is I am going to exchange the s yes with u. So here, sorry, the the diagram is not exactly like this, but yeah. let me take another here. So here what I am going to do is I am going to again mark two objects. So here one is this and another one is this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cluster again this one. So these are the nearest to this one. So I'm clustering this as one. And again, the these are nearest to this. So I, again, I'm clustering this as another, okay, another cluster. So here I'm going to again find finding the distance that is the sum of square distance between this one and all of this and this one and all of this so here what i am doing is my distance that is my sum of square distance is 0 0.8 let's say so when my that is when wherever my sum of square distance is less so here my total cost that is uh, the sum of square distance my total cost is lesser than the first step right here my that is my total cost is lesser than the step one so i am choosing this method i am rejecting this one so when i got s equal to 2 here and s equal to 2.5 here means i'll select this because this because the distance between this is smaller but but here what we got is but here what we got is s equal to 1 and s equal to 0 0.8 so i'm just rejecting this one and i'm just selecting this one i'm just rejecting the previous step so i'm going to take this second second phase that is uh, the swap phase so let me explain you how to write the algorithm for this one so first in the first step what i did i am giving the k value right so for in the first step what you have to do is you have to make you have to give the k value k point as initial representative objects so this is what your first step and then move on to your second step so in the second step what we did we asked randomly selecting the k objects right so randomly selecting the k objects and then what we we did we are assigning the nearest object to the selected object right we are assigning the nearest objects to the selected objects So once we finished it, what we did, we uh, we clustered a cluster. So uh, I'm mentioning in the cluster, he assigned the nearest object to the selected and in the cluster. So and then what we did, we are calculating the sum of square distance. So that is what compiled the third step. Compile the total cost of sum of square distance. So after that what we did. After that the first phase is finished and we are moving on to the second phase. What we did in the second phase we are swapping the selected and the unselected object. So that is what I am going to do. Swap the 
selected object yes with the unselected object so this is what we did in the fourth step so after that what we did we are again assuming uh, randomly selecting so again randomly selecting the k object and assign the nearest object to the selected rule so what i am going to do is i am going to write a word simply called as repeat here repeat so i am considering this again as a loop the second third fourth again so after that what we did we are comparing the sum of squared distance between the s1 and the s2 so this is what compare the total cost if it is more than first step that is the previous we call it if it is more than the previous step then we are going to select this but if it less than but if it if it is less than the previous step then select the second one the last so hope you understand this how to write an algorithm and how to use this game and our clustering and in my next video i'll tell you how to handle a problem in game and clustering so now i'll explain you this goal find the k representative object so what we did first we are finding the k representative object we are when i gave k equal to 2 then i'm giving the okay so leave this i'm giving uh, i'm selecting 2 find the k representative objects so i'm just selecting the number of k values that is the two values and then what we did to minimize the average dissimilarity of objects to their closest select objects so that this is the maximum dissimilarity and this is the minimum similar dissimilarity so that's why we are selecting this so to minimize the dissimilarity between so here you can see that the objects are very it's not closer than this right so this one is very closer to this selected object but here it is far right it is far from the selected object and here you can see that it is near to the selected object so th this is what we are saying in this step to the closest select object so in this game method clustering the most usually algorithm is called as the pam algorithm which means that is the partitioning sorry partitioning around algorithm so this is the commonly used algorithm in k metoid clustering so hope you understand this and if you like this video then give me a thumbs up and if you want me to explain any video then come on in the comment section i'll try to post this video uh, in one week so yeah